Hey guys, Brianne Schoen Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. Hanging out here this morning, just got at CrossFit Majestic, just got done coaching my gymnastics class, so thought I'd get on here a little bit earlier than normal and talk about hydration and performance. How much water you intake, your electrolytes, how much water you're losing. There's so many things that play a factor into um, how you're performing. Um, at the gym, with your runs, with your competitions, um, everything. Hey Tony, hey Scott, good to see you on. Hey Amy, Alec. So, when it comes to hydration, just a 2% decrease in hydration levels can start to decrease your performance. Um, some studies have shown that for endurance athletes, runners, triathletes, um, 3% is um, still kind of okay when they start getting um, the decline is a little bit um, more of that 4% range for more of the trained ones. The um, just kind of the recreational marathon or triathlete, typically that 2% to 3% range is still where you're going to see that decline. Hey Daniel, good morning. So, question is how much water do you need? How much electrolytes do you need? So we'll start off with the basics. Yeah, I didn't put them on. I just got done coaching. I don't wear them at the gym typically. Good. You're observant, Tony. So um, as far as how much you need just on a normal basis to stay hydrated. <clears throat> at a minimum, you need half your body weight in ounces of water a day. Anything more than that is um, bonus. For me, I take a lot more in than that, um, but that's just me personally. But you at least need, just on a day-to-day -day basis, not even thinking exercise, at least half your body weight in ounces of water. Now, when it comes to exercise, you definitely need to take in more fluids. Standard baseline, easiest way to figure out kind of what you need and what kind of learn your body is measure, take your weight before you work out and after you work out. That difference in weight is going to be what you lost in sweat, so water weight. In the summer, with the increased heat, increased humidity, obviously you're going to notice those numbers are going to be a lot higher of um, water loss than in the winter. But you still do sweat quite a bit in the winter, so it's definitely still important. On, as a standard, for every pound of body, body weight lost, you want to get between, um, you want to get another 18 ounces of water, sorry, 8 ounces of water in you. So, lost a pound, you want to get 8 ounces. Lost 5 pounds of water weight, you want to get, get at least 40 more ounces of water in you on top of what you normally would take in. Once again, you can take in more than that, not a bad idea. When you're in competition, it does change a little bit, so, or um, for endurance athletes, it's going to change a little bit. A um, couple ways to go about it. If you know, um, so before you go for a training run, to kind of learn how your body is, weigh yourself before, weigh yourself after, kind of figure out that difference, but also because you're probably drinking fluids during it, you also need to take into account how much you're drinking during it. Um, as a general, Every 15 to 20 minutes, try to take in like four to eight ounces of water um, when you are an endurance athlete. So marathons, triathletes, that sort of thing, any during training or competition. If you know, if you know your body well, you've been measuring how much you've lost um, consistently in water weight through different training times, then um, you can easily break that up and know how much you need to take in consistently. But as um, but if you don't know that point yet, then definitely just kind of start taking like 48 ounces in um, every 15 to 20 minutes of um, as you're training or performing for your um, endurance sport. Uh, let's see, along with that is electrolytes. As you sweat out, you also sweat out sodium. So you need to replenish those electrolyte levels. How much you need definitely depends on your body and you kind of have to get get a sense of what your body actually needs. Um, I've learned my body pretty well, so I start noticing the signs of that electrolyte loss fairly quickly. Um, for me personally, I either get really tired or I almost get like a dry heave sensation. So, plants <laughs> love electrolytes. Um, 
so I start to learn kind of what my, I've really learned how, um, when I'm not feeling normal and, uh, what I need to do in order to, um, fix that as far as electrolytes go. So it's something you kind of need to learn with your body, but it's also something very important to try to get electrolytes in. There's a number of ways to do that. Um, most standard ones that people know about are, um, it's like the Gatorade Powerade. Those have a lot of extra sugars in them that aren't actually needed for you. So, um... I use um, an electrolyte powder that uses stevia and just natural sweeteners so it doesn't have all the added sugars, doesn't have all the really artificial stuff that your body doesn't need. Um, there's a lot of research out on pickle juice as well. I personally hate pickles so I don't go that route but I know that works really well because of all the sodium in, um, in pickles that uh, pickle juice does work as well. So if that's something you want to try, go for it. Not my thing. Uh, one thing I did also want to mention as well, if you're already feeling thirsty, you're probably already around a 2% um, dehydration point. So you really want to be taking water in before you get to that thirst point rather than after and trying to recover from that. So um, some of the thing about as you are um, just on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. If you're training and you're waiting you're waiting until you get to that thirsty point in order to take in fluids, you're already past that dehydration point. Um, so your performance is already gonna be suffering a little bit. So something to think about guys. Um, I'm, let's see, anyone have any other questions? Charles, Dan, Patrick, David, thanks for jumping on. Hey Matt, good to see you. So if you have any questions on hydration, definitely post them on here. I'm happy to answer those for you if you're watching this later on.